what other rappers reached out around that time? Like, how how, how did you and Dirk become a, a thing at that time? Being both up from Chicago, that's how that locked in. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? We did the Katrina. We got another song, um, So Mad. We did a couple songs and shit. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But y'all aren't supposed to be cool because of street shit, right? I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> it just, uh, that was never an issue, or you just can't speak on it? I don't know. I ain't got no bad blood with Dirk. I fuck with Dirk. Okay. That's all I'm saying on that. But at one point, did it just kind of fizzle out? Did he just stop talking to you, or like, how, how did that go? I, I I guess you could see shit. We ain't did no music or nothing. Like, right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how he feel. But there was no argument or anything. Nah, it just sort of nah, fizzled hell out. Nah, hell no. Nah. Went no argument, no none of that. Last time I talked to him, it was all love. Mm. Like it was nah, yeah. Interesting. Um, okay. So around that time, uh, also, well, I don't know, like from your perspective, how, how did things kind of move from there? Like you, you're 13, you're 14, are you just sort of like still working on music? You're doing interviews and stuff. I watched some, some old interviews from around that time period. Yeah. Like I ain't really, I wasn't really, I ain't really used to like interviews. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like that shit's made me like kind of nervous. And I shit, mean, when like, you're 13 or 14, it's pretty fucking intimidating having to get on camera yeah. and talk about yourself to Sway. He's like 40 years, he's uh, grown yeah. ass man. Damn, speaking of Sway, when I went and did that New York run, that press run and shit with all the, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, I was at Double XL, 